Hi everyone. This video is about should you tell people that you have Parkinson's. That is a good question. I really don't know the answer to that question. I'll just tell you about my experience with it. Yeah, where do I start? I find it hard to tell people that I have Parkinson's not because it's not hard because I have Parkinson's it's just hard to know like what their reaction will be to what I'm telling them and I kind of found that there's two reactions one is that they don't react and I don't think that that's done because they're shocked that I have Parkinson's they just don't know what that means and um, I think that they they kind of just either don't believe I have Parkinson's or like I said they just don't understand it because I am younger and they don't expect people that are that uh, my age or younger to have Parkinson's. The other reaction is that they overreact and they act like we have a disease where we are gonna die or <clears throat> that it's really, really bad. And it really is bad, but it's not that bad. <laughs> so those are the two reactions that I'm kind of used to. This is my like personal opinion, but I know that a lot of people in the young or early onset population don't tell their workers that th they have Parkinson's and I feel that I do understand why they don't do that. And I guess I feel that if you think that your job would be at jeopardy, that maybe you should keep that secret that you have Parkinson's for a while. If you're not worried about your job, then I would say to tell people at your job that you have Parkinson's. Because you don't want to be in a situation where the Parkinson's actually affecting your work and they don't, your employer doesn't know that and then they start disciplining you for some reason. I think by the law they can't really, if you disclose that you have Parkinson's, they can't be prejudiced against you. They're not, they're not supposed to, but <clears throat> I guess that could happen. So I don't want to say that it's, you know, that they're not supposed to, but I know there are probably circumstances that others have told their employer and they were kind of treated differently. But again, you don't want to be in a situation where you start doing things differently on your job and they think it's a performance issue. If that comes up, I would just tell my employer as far as your friends and family, I think you do need to share that with people close to you because they need to understand what you're going through and how you're going to change because you are going to change in some way. You're going to be affected by the Parkinson's. Maybe not at first and maybe you're lucky enough that you got diagnosed and you just started to get Parkinson's. Maybe you haven't had it that long. If you haven't had it that long, you could go like a good 20 years, and I'm just saying that from experience, where it doesn't affect anything. I think I, I've had Parkinson's for 20 to 30 years, and although I've had symptoms, I was able to work. It didn't, it didn't really affect my life until I started having motor problems, and that was when it started to, to or I started to realize I had some something wrong with me. So I guess it kind of depends on your age and what stage you're at and, and if you have any symptoms from the Parkinson's. Perhaps I wouldn't have said anything if it, did, if it wasn't showing. Um, another thing I find is that The people that underreact, a certain percentage of them just 
it's like they don't believe you that you have Parkinson's and you're sometimes put in a position where you're trying to prove that you have Parkinson's it's kind of weird you kind of feel like you're kind of being over dramatic or that you're making things up that you have Parkinson's it sometimes I feel like I, I kind of was defending myself or that I have Parkinson's but then there's the other side of things where people overreact. Something that I worry about is like being classified as someone with Parkinson's. I was referred to a couple weeks ago as being a cute girl with Parkinson's. I thought that was kind of funny. I, I wasn't negatively impacted by it. I kind of liked that they said I was young and that I was cute. But I guess it bothered me because I had a thought like that if everyone views me that way as the person with Parkinson's. So I was a little bit wary about doing these videos because pretty much if you Google my name, it's going to say I have Parkinson's and people that I don't want them to know will know that I have Parkinson's. So that kind of does bother me. But I thought that I can't really hide from the fact that I have Parkinson's. It's not a disease that you can kind of hide from. You can a little bit in the beginning, but you're going to get to a point that something's going to show that you have Parkinson's. So that's just kind of my review on, on um, whether to say that you have Parkinson's or not. I know that there has been going to be situations where I'm kind of unclear if to say something or not. For example, like dating. I'm pretty sure that I would want to tell the person that I have Parkinson's right away. Because why, you know, take too much time getting to know them if that's going to bother them? So I haven't had to do that yet. I have um, dated a few people. But the people that I've dated are people that knew I had Parkinson's before they um, asked me out. So that wasn't really a problem. As far as working, I don't work anymore. Um, I don't have like a, I did have a business, a holistic business, but I don't have that business anymore because I couldn't, I couldn't do it with the Parkinson's. Again, um, you know, many of you guys work and I think that I have worked with Parkinson's for a good 20 years before it started to affect me. So I don't want you guys to think that just because I'm not working that you can't work. Um, it's just that when I got diagnosed with Parkinson's, I, I probably got diagnosed at level 2 or, or level 3. <laughs> Most of you guys will be at level 1, <clears throat> which doesn't really affect you. So I didn't have to deal with the work issue. Um, so that was another reason I felt like, why not do videos? I'm not like someone that has to protect, protect the fact that I have Parkinson's. And um, there was a brief time that I was on my business. And I was um, with Parkinson's, just diagnosed with Parkinson's. And I did kind of have to hide things. Um, I had like a few um, staff people and um, I didn't want them to know because I didn't want them to jump ship and go somewhere else or because they were worried that I wouldn't stay in the business. So unfortunately I couldn't share that with them. I had clients at that time and I definitely couldn't share that information with my clients then because I was in the health industry and I also find that some people are bothered by other people being sick when you're working on them. Not that they think that you're gonna, they're gonna catch something, it's not that, it's just that people wanna be worked on with people that are healthy or who look good.